Notre Dame is looking to hire their defensive coordinator, and it looks like all signs are pointing to the Cincinnati Bengals linebacker coach, Al Golden. When is the last time you really heard the name Al Golden? Oh, geez, I have no idea. <laughs> so he was in Detroit for, for several years after. So he, he was the head coach at Temple, and then he went down yep. to Miami, and, of course, everybody knew him as the guy that uh, uh, wore the suit or wore the, uh, the the button down and a tie on the sideline, right? And he was involved in everything when uh, Nevin Shapiro came out of the woodworks with all these different stories. He was the coach at Miami from 2011 through 2015, but he has been in the NFL since then. So he was with the Lions from 2016 through 2019, and then he's been the Bengals linebackers coach since then, 2020 and 2021. I'm... I'm curious about this because this seems like it could be a great landing spot. One, for, for Marcus Freeman to have somebody that was a former head coach. But two, uh, a guy that now has NFL experience and may want to come back and, and show, yo, I was a good head coach. I was a good college coach. I I think this is a good spot for them. Like I, Marcus, I did not even think about Al Golden as a possibility for a defense coordinator job. Like I, oh well, no, nobody, nobody in the world did. So I, I think it could you know, work though. This, this could be good. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm curious how, how you know how close this deal is to actually happening. As far as it's just a name being put out there because it's slow. It's the day after the Super Bowl. Um, college football is trying to trying to make some news. Uh, but but you know it's a it's an interesting name. It's an interesting way to go about it. I thought he got a raw deal at Miami, but that's also because I thought. When he was there, that place was successful. It was. It was. He He's the one that started the Temple run, right? You had him, yeah. then you had Matt Rule, and then you had Rule Jeff Collins, him, yeah. and then, of course, everything kind of went to hell after that. But uh, but that was who started this thing. Like, he, he started the thing going at Temple, and, um, you know, it, what happened at Miami was a disaster, yes, but I don't, I mean, nobody was successful at Miami. Like, they did not invest in their program. And no. you know he he thought he could get it turned around, but it is what it is. I Nevin think Shapiro be got out of Nevin Shapiro got out of prison and went and went haywall on the program again. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G Anini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.